Hey folks, I'm back with part two of my Christmas cards for this year. I'm pretty happy with the way they're turning out. I'm just glad that I have the time to sit up here in my craft room and get reacquainted with all my things. Um, so I have some pretty simple cards and let me get started. This first one is on a gold card base. It's a Recollections card base. They're white on the inside and uh, they come, Michaels sells them in a package with the envelopes and I got them on super duper clearance at the end of last year. So the inspiration for this particular card came from this ribbon here with the Christmas trees on it. This is not a ribbon that is, you know, soft and pretty. It's intended for gift wrapping. So it's thicker and rougher. But doesn't matter. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. I thought it was really pretty. It has some um, glittery parts of it. So that was the inspiration. I used this red foil paper that's also by Recollections and I just cut it down and used my on the edge die from Tim Holtz to get that pretty design there. The background patterned paper is by American Crafts from the Merry Mint collection and this is a K and Company um, chipboard piece that I added some red and white twine and I put little flat back pearls at the tops of the trees and right there and called it done. That's the first card. The second card along those lines is also on that gold card base and I matted it with this sparkly basil paper. It's green and some really old music paper that I've had in my stash. I don't even know who makes it, but it was perfect. This particular ribbon was the inspiration for this card and that one is even rougher than the other one. See? But I thought it was pretty. So I cut it with a little fishtail banner and then I adhered it to a nicer satin white ribbon. Did the same thing there. And then added some red bling. Put this on pop dots. Let me see if I, I did not stamp the inside. So that's card two. Card three is on a green card base, a dark green card base, and this glitter background paper is one of these that I shared in my last video that I got at Joann's. Very convenient, folks. Makes it easy to bust out a card. This is a Hero Art Stamp that I colored in with different colors and I put some bling on there and then I ran some twine. I punched holes in there and tied the little bows. I am not thrilled with this card but it's okay. I'll get over it. Um, the inside, oh and then that silver panel I put on pop dots. Then the inside I stamped with the coordinating stamp. Okay that's card three. Card four uh, was inspired by Mr. Chocho Mama who used her do-it-yourself thickers and some awesome glitter that she had purchased and she reminded me, that's right, I do have do-it-yourself thickers, so get to it. This is the Macaw font. And, let's see, I used a back piece of black cardstock and I ran it through my um, Big Shot with an embossing folder. And then I used my Martha Stewart glitters. This is the really fine glitter. And I cut out this MFT die with a really light craft. And unfortunately they didn't fit straight across so I needed to put them askew and I'm okay with that. Um, and then I put that on pop dots. And I really like the contrast of the black with the colored glitter. I think it just makes it pop. So thank you, Mr. Chocho Mama, for the inspiration and the idea. 
Then on the inside, I just matted it with some more of that craft cardstock and stamped Merry Christmas. Super cute. I like that one. This next one is using a Recollections felt and sequence sticker, like the teddy bear one that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, it's on a green card base to match with the green gift here. And the I matted all of it on some gold, it's kind of bronzy, bronzy gold Martha Stewart paper. And this is using the Tim Holtz ornamental die. And that is some Echo Park dots and stripes paper. Cute. That is a paper smooches. I think it's from Santa Paws. And I used a, what is it, Stampin' Up? punch and then I just put a little bit of two little rhinestones there to mimic the rhinestones on the gift and I put that on some dimensionals as well <clears throat> let me see if I s ah I did stamp the inside with another paper smooches stamp so card number I don't know I lost track <laughs> all right the next one is for our dog's vet and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It is a paper smooches stamp. There, there, and there. The patterned paper is from the Holly Jolly Christmas by Echo Park. It's on a brighter green card base from Recollections. And I used a um, reverse wonky rectangle on Nestabilities. And then do you see the shimmer on both his hat and that. That is not Stickles, my friend. My friends. Well, maybe there is only just one of you watching. That is Close to My Heart Glitz Stardust that my pal Gloria sent me in Iraq for my birthday. Yay! Hi, Gloria. Thank you. Look at this stuff. It sparkles like no other. And let me show you. It really adds a special touch here. So I put this on a panel, I pop dotted it, and then one more thing I want to show you is I used my white gel pen, my Sakura, what is it called? My white Sakura gel pen that Vicky gave me all the way around. Thanks, Vicky. It really looks great on my cards. And then I don't think I stamped the inside. No, not yet, but I got to fill this out and go drop it off. And that's... Almost the last one. Sorry, last one. Oops. Okay, the last one is five by six and a half. It is on a cream colored card base, the Recollections brand. And I love it. I think it's so cute. It's probably the pink that I'm loving. The pattern paper that I used is that my mind's eye, gosh, I don't know the name of it. Mary, this one that I got at um, Michael's. And look at that bow. No, that's not the bow easy. That is, I'll tell you that in a second. So I matted everything. I put a pink mat down on the card base. And then I used one, two, three pieces of patterned paper. And I scrap lifted this. I guess I should have started with that. I scrap lifted this from the Tailored Expressions website. One of their guest designers, I think, or one of their designers made a card like this, but it had a different snowman person in the center, and I loved it. So I, I used a, a border punch, and then I know you can't see, but I have two little green buttons there that I used some floss. And then that's a Martha Stewart um, snowman. I used some Distress Ink for the blue. And then I don't know if you can tell, but I busted out. Hey, my um, Glimmer Mist got to come out and play. I used the pearl to give it a little shine there because, you know, snow shines. And then I outlined my circle here with some more of that Glitz Stardust. Okay, so for the bow, I cheated. No, I didn't. I uh, I learned. I'm a fast learner. <laughs> uh, 
Amy R. Um, usually attaches her ribbon to the card or to the pattern paper, and then she slips in an additional piece and ties her bow here. So, huh, that's what I did. And wow, what a difference. It was so much easier. I don't know if you guys can see it's pretty wrinkled because I tried with the bow easy. <sighs> and the bow easy one, I gave up. I was like, whatever. Um, I wanted to have that stinking bow over here and I wanted it to look good. So, did I stamp the inside? Let's see. Oh no, I just, not yet. I just put a big purple, a purple, <laughs> pink mat in there to write my message. So, that's my favorite one. That's why I left it to the end. And that's part two. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh, okay, I think I need a nap now. I've been working so hard in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Um... I hope you're having a good time. Get